Hello everyone, before I start, I must say that I'm about to head to the movie theaters in about an hour. I have to make this pretty quick and make this a quick talk. Quick talk! Hello everyone, hopefully you've had a great New Year's Eve. It is January 2nd, 2018 right now. I miss 2017 even though it's the worst year in existence. And 2015 was the best year in existence, 2016 was okay. So, it's 2018 right now, and I hope you had a best New Year's Eve you've ever gotten. If you didn't, there's always next year. I had the worst New Year's Eve because I was sick. I'm kind of dealing with it and getting a little better with it right now, if you're curious on that. But I was a little sick on New Year's Eve, so I was coughing a lot around the party and there are a lot of people at the party they were like are you okay and I was like yeah I'm getting fine although I'm not really at my best right now I'm not even sure how they knew I was sick did my mom say on Facebook or something like that I don't know how do they know that I'm sick back to the talk I was coughing all over the place and so I asked my mom for some cough medicine and so she gave me some cough medicine. She gave me the cough medicine, and I said, what if I get sleepy? And then she said, I'll wake you up if you ever do go to sleep. So I went back upstairs, and then I got the keys from my brother, opened my room, and then I went back to sleep. When I woke up, it's already 1 a.m., and at first I thought my mom forgot to wake me up. She must be so drunk or something like that. But then I realized, in fact, it was the medicine. And she she told me the story. It was the medicine. She tried waking me up. She opened my door. And she tried waking me up, banging my door, stuff like that. And it was the medicine that made me sleepy and snoring. So I woke up through all through New Year's Eve. And then when I woke up at 1 a.m. or something like that, I was awake and kind of shocked that I didn't, didn't know what to do. I stood there in the middle of the night, not knowing what to do for three minutes, locked in my room, no lights. Everyone else was outside doing their thing, being so happy, blah, 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 I'm so happy. I was like shocked. What do I do? So after a while, I opened my door, I got some water bottles where RJ helped me. Thank you, RJ. You're the best. I just went there and played some pool. Stuff like that. I also tried convincing my mom. Why didn't you wake me up, mom? You said you were supposed to wake me up. Are you so drunk or something like that? But then, it actually ended up being the medicine making me snoring and then react to me waking up to my mom's call to waking up. So yeah, that's the story. Moral of the story, if you're sick around New Year's Eve and you take some medicine, well, uh, Take the daytime medicine instead. For the rest of the night, I couldn't sleep. So I was just on my phone and doing stuff. It's already 5 30, I need to get. One more thing I am going to be announcing a series called Slapping Everything Together and Calling It a Vlog. It starts tomorrow. Here's a sneak peek. That's all we get. Watch the video tomorrow to see the rest of it. I need to head to the movie theaters now. Oh my gosh. It's already 607. <coughs> <coughs> okay, bye. Sorry. I'm just chilling here and have it.